Let's go ahead and import the standard 3D game kit that's from Unity. To do that, we want to click on our Asset Store tab right here. If you don't have the Asset Store tab, you just go up to Window on the menu bar and then go down to where you see Asset Store. You'll also notice the hotkey is Control plus 9 or Command plus 9. Once it opens, then we can just type in, and we'll just type in the word uh, for is the uh, 3D game kit. And remember, because, um, because you already logged in on the hub, you've automatically got your asset store access right here. You'll notice on the top right, you have your member set up right here. So everything's following you and tracking you in all the places. This is also live on the website through Unity's uh, website, uh, unity.com, and you can go to the asset store and you'll have all of your information provided through there as well. All right, so what we do have, we need to get the 3D game kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on 3D game kit from here. Something just to remember is that oftentimes, uh, because Unity works on so many different versions, uh, the, the person putting the project out may have a, a higher version. It says support Unity versions 2018 or higher. Um, some people who are on the store will actually put out a, a, a product that's only available for 2020, or it might be 2015, and um, it doesn't actually it doesn't support fully the latest versions so you want to make sure that you're aware of which one you're getting if you're getting something and maybe this is grayed out it just simply means that the version you currently have open doesn't support it and you have to open a different version of unity in order to access the option for it what you'll have on here is it'll say free and then down here it'll say add to cart or it'll say add and just simply add it to. Once it adds to it, it's going to say to download. You can click on the download button. And when you click on the download button, it's going to, it's going to start downloading right here. I'm going to click on this one as well. This says update. So we'll just go ahead and click on the update uh, button. It's going to have some options inside of here. And we can just say accept. And as it starts to download, once it finishes downloading, the button will change again. And we'll see it here in a little bit it's going to change and become a import button and then we'll go from there now that the import button is up we can actually click on the import button itself right here and it may give you a thing that says either something is going to be overwritten and then during the process it may say something like it needs something in order to work within the environment um, whenever it comes up just simply click ok uh, don't click cancel. Be sure you click OK on whatever it's asking. That way you get all the required packages to be correctly installed into it. So this is going to decompress all the files. Think of it like a zip file. It's just going to unzip everything. And then at that point, we'll be able to click on another window, which is going to allow it to actually put uh, to build inside the project. So here it says the package uh, manager dependencies need to be installed or upgraded. So just say install and upgrade. There we go. With the import Unity package window open, you'll notice that all the things on the right say new, letting us know that these are new files. And then over on the left, you have a checkbox to be able to enable or disable anything. Bottom left, you can say select all or none. And then you can cancel or import. We want to use everything that's available here. So we're going to say import. We'll click the import button. And then Unity is going to start importing all of those assets into our assets folder over here. And it's going to just populate it with all the items that are currently inside of this project. If you get the window that pops up and says your quality settings were automatically set to low, but you can change them from here, then you can just say OK to that. Once it gets finished, 
You'll then see the project inside of your assets over on the left hand side. You'll have a 3D game kit. Let me roll these up so you see this one. And inside the 3D game kit, you'll notice that you'll have art, audio, scenes, scripts, and the whole things. The scenes, if you go into scenes, you click on the little uh, triangle to go inside of it. You could click inside of the uh, gameplay in level one. And level one would actually load. When you double click on it to load it, you'll notice that in the hierarchy, you'll see all the items show up here. If you go to your scene tab, the scene tab is gonna build and show all of the items inside of here. So now we have our 3D game kit officially inside of Unity working. You can do one thing to check. Uh, you can clear the console right there and then just double check, push the play button. And this is just to make sure that all the the, uh, the elements are working correctly. So there we go. Now we know that the game is working, uh, the controls work with it. So all of this should be good. And uh, at this point, we have our project installed. It's working, it's playable, and uh, we'll be able to use that for the projects.